G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. Season 2014, Division 1 men and women. We are back. And two very good competitions coming up, by the way. So no doubt, very good. Really good. Yep, some changes. Early thoughts? Just in a word, just go, D1 men. Nah. Oh, nuts. Okay, yeah, okay. my thought, tight. Tight. Yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. D1 women? Tight. Okay. No, I'm sorry, man. Okay, Great. Nice. Let's have a look at D1 sorry, moving. Oh, you can tell we haven't rehearsed. 11 no. teams, top four make the finals. Yep. So there's been some significant changes here. Uh, first of all, Warren Dyke gone. Gone. Gone up to state champ men. Good luck. Uh, state champ men. They've women. gone state champ women. Actually. They should. They were pretty good. <laughs> Craigie Burn, Geelong, Whittlesey, Camberwell, Mildura, Latrobe City, Sunbury, Hawthorne, Keelaw, Southern Peninsula, Werribee. Keelaw, Southern Penn, Werribee all come up. Yep. Okay. It's huge. What are your thoughts on those three at the moment? I think they're going to be quite I think good. Three will be fine. So, be Southern Penn's had a massive turnover. We'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you right now, those three new teams, three, three new teams, three, three. won't occupy the bottom three spots. I agree with bottom. that. Yeah, no, me too. Yeah. I think one of them may be around about. Them. Saturday games coming up this week. Geelong play Southern Peninsula. Oh, what a crack at the start of the season. Yeah. Welcome Seriously. back to Division 1 Southern Penn. Geelong's added Kylie Morrissey. Yep. That's a massive game. And Louise Johnston. Well, Louise played there last season. Did she? Are you oh, on the same so page or what? Are you kidding? No, oh. no, no. Really? I'm not here. I'm wow. not here. Um, Kylie, Morrissey. Kylie Morrissey is yeah. huge. Big addition. Huge addition. That's how we go for them. Southern Penn. Yep. Jamie, yeah, Lee. Jamie Lee and Danny <laughs> Pierce come in. Big gets. Yep. Celeste Smith from Sherbrooke. She's good. She's a quality Very good. player. They've lost about eight players, yep. including Jasmine Lovejoy and Lee Wilkins, their two leading players last season. Okay. And as, a, as an import, they've gone to Chelsea. Is an import coming to Southern Penn? Import for women? No? Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Yep, on their way. Okay, no, do we know That'll much be about announced. That'll be announced soon. Okay, yeah. fine. Catherine Bacon? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Now look, it's only going to add to it what's been a real overhaul uh, down at Southern Massive Penn. Massive overhaul. New coach. Yeah, Lucas Allen. Allen's on board from Latrobe City. He's brought up. Uh, for the Pierce sisters and a host of other players, so it's going to be huge. They're, they're, they're going to be good, mate. Right, they're going to be good. Really good. Are they going to get you along this Saturday night? I'm not game enough to say they will yet, because I think there's going to be some gel time, and I don't think it's uh, it's going to happen off straight no, I think Geelong are going to be ready to hit the ground. They're ready. They're so right ready. Now. Yeah. Geelong are favourites. Yeah, I, agree. Oh, I think they yeah, are. No, Red I agree. Agree. Yep. So Geelong to win? Yep. Just, but it's okay. going to cracker. Also this Saturday night, Camberwell at home to Mildura. Camberwell has added Jesse Kira from mm -hmm. Sandringham, yep. Tamara Matichik from Coburg, Leander Higgs from Whittlesea, Jade Wise from Whittlesea. They've lost Sam Wells to Sunbury. Emily Hewitt's gone to Hawthorne. Mildura's import, Serena Simmons. And apparently she's very good. Yeah, very good. Very That's good. That's the talk out of Orange County at the moment. Okay. Well, what do we expect first up? Well, Camberwell, you know, they're spewing. They missed out on who to get and making the finals last year. Um, and I think they're going to be tough to play against. But I've got a feeling Mildura are going to sort of push back up towards the top four more this year. And I think... Are Mildura, they deepening up, though? Yeah, look, I think if the import's as good as what I'm hearing, you you know, add that really to Vanessa good. Power. Like, oh, well, we know those two are standouts. Yeah. This is I'm going to give you a name. I'm going to give you a name. Yeah. A player that is going to take the next step this season uh, for Mildura. Yeah. Yeah. Michaela Delacastagna. Okay. Okay, yeah. keep an eye on this kid. Yeah. Yeah. She's a gun. She's a few good games on, She's dude. a gun. Yeah. She's really found her groove mm -hmm. uh, in senior basketball. Michaela De uh, Delacastagna is still a very, very young kid. Well, yeah. She will hinges. have a cracker of a season. Well, perhaps it hinges on her as to whether they're going to really contend this season or not if they've got we know what they're going to get out of probably out of Serena Simmons and uh, Aminas Powell so you're tipping Canada every year but no I'm, I'm, I'm tipping Mildura, I'm tipping Mildura. Yeah. Yeah. And, you, and you know what every opposition team's going to put lots of time and effort into Serena Simmons and to Vanessa yep. Power Delica Stenia will be the one not to put too much pressure on her no one's watching yeah. this other we're not putting pressure nah. on her not Mildura um, uh, <laughs> what do you mean they're our wow. biggest fans oh, yeah. they're our biggest fans no, Delica Stenia <laughs> Delica Stenia will be the one that get up, gets under a few, right. few teams' guards cool. this season. Excellent. Mildura to win for me. Yep. Yep. So Camberwell so. just missed the finals last season. They were good. Oh, they made it. No, no they, they just missed, missed out. They missed out to Geelong. They a chance this season? Oh, yeah. Final. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, they are. No. I, I think they'll be thereabouts, but I think they'll, it'll be similar to the result to last season. They'll just miss the top four. Don't hate on them. I don't hate on them. Don't hate on them. Latrobe City play Craigie Burn this Saturday night. Latrobe City has added an import, Lindsay Horbatuck. What a name. Their first female import ever. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. Is that we'll right, ever? Yep. Uh, and she looks like she can seriously play as well. Yep. It'd be good for them. I think they need it. They've, with Danny and Jamie Lee Pierce gone, uh, there's a big old hole there to fill. 
that's probably the biggest un understatement of the off season. Well, Jamie Lee Pierce has, and I say this in the nicest possible way, has carried this team for the yeah. last few oh, years. No she is a massive, massive loss. Tanali Hood will get more of the ball now. Um, Expect Michaela to see a bit Dixon, more of her. The young girl that went from yes. to the oh, yeah. city last year. Yep. I really rate her, and yeah. I think she'll be an important part for that team this season. Yep. Craigie Boone bowed out in the semis last season. They don't look to have changed too much. They have added Belinda Campbell from Coburg. And Kelly Bailey Wynn returns Oh, from, she's back. Yes. Baby yeah. Judy. Back yep. from Baby she Judy. Is. She is. And just her experience also to a pretty experienced team. I think they're going to be thereabouts again. Does she have to duck off and heat up the bottle at halftime or uh, anything like that? She's got Nan to do that. Oh, Nan's yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, no worries. Any um, danger of us going through a show without you mentioning <laughs> Kath, <laughs> mate? <laughs> Any danger of us getting a me. Latrobe City, Craig, you better you keep your private life to yourself. Craig, <laughs> Latrobe City, <laughs> Latrobe, who are you going for? Craig, you <laughs> can't say that. Who are you going for? Yeah, Craig, you mate. I'm going to go with... Don't be stupid. I'm going to go with Craig, you first up. I'm really keen to see Lindsay Horbett yeah right? really yeah. keen where we play Sunbury Sunday night you're going to be cold going in that stadium in the middle of summer it's every chance I'll find, find a way chance. for it to be an ice box where we'll be back to division one women Jody Impey comes in from Keelaw yeah Sharon Breve back out of semi there's an experience time yep wow Jess has a party uh, and Jarley's seeing Amy Lawrence all come in from Altona they're the old ducks let's not beat around the bush they are the old ducks of the old competition school. how and are you going to get near the key with Impey Greve and Troy like you just you're gonna have to shoot you're not, you're well not getting from the in three point line. And you ain't getting Alicia, in there. Alicia, Alicia, follow Bernie. Yeah, but mate, they're gonna smash. The, they're gonna smash <laughs> the crap out of you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Sunbury's added Katrina Vogelzang from Altona. Sally Cameron from Altona. Cara Jeffers from Bulleen. That's yep. a fair drive. Yeah, yeah. Sam Wells from Camberwell. They've lost Aaron Suter to Whittlesey. First up. I'm going Werribee. So am I. I think Sunbury will be stronger this year than they were last year, but I still feel like I, I rate this Werribee team. I yeah. think they're gonna be pretty good. I think so Sunbury are gonna be near about spot them. You reckon? Yeah. Wow, okay. Um, Sunbury, near the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think so. This top, look, this comp's tough. It's not a reflection no. of Sunbury. It's, yeah. it's a reflection right. of all these other teams that have stacked themselves. Now, Werribee, officially, um, pensioner's discount is on. On. They're, they're serving uh, scones and That's cream at half time. That, not scones me. and cream at half time. Pink sandwiches. If you bring your knitting with you, you can sit in the <laughs> members area of the stand as well. Oh, You've got to nice. have your knitting though, apparently. Wow. All right. No, they're the old ducks. I'm not beating around the bush this season. How do you reckon they're going to, Bonner? I reckon they're going to go yeah. bloody yeah, well. Me too. Yeah, so they're going to go really well. Yep. Uh, hey, so I'm the big boss. <laughs> <laughs> is, the camera, is the camera still working? <laughs> it's just crap. Um, Sunday games just threw me out then. Sunbury Keelaw. Um, Keelaw's out of Jane Marie Sant from Altona. Alyssa Mifsud from Altona. Ashley Richardson from Altona. They've lost Jody Impey, of course. And it's a massive, massive loss for Keelaw. That's a huge loss. Like, you know, I think winning the title and, and going up, they probably expected to have Jody. Um, Jody in their lineup, but you know, Jody said she, she didn't want to have to play the full 30, 40 minutes a game. Um, I think they, 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 they may struggle. They, they do, they do me, look young and athletic, though. This feels like last time Killer won the title and went up. Yeah. This is what it feels like. Yeah. So, you're, no chance for what? one through them? No, they're not going to make finals. No. What, do you reckon they can make finals? No, prison. look, you, this, no, is no, no, no. this is what you do. This is what you do. My question is, you no, acted like don't. we're the biggest jerks for saying that Killer aren't going to make exactly finals. The same thing and you, you agree with us. don't have the guts to say it. Yeah. You don't I, play, you I don't have the guts to say you it. Really? You're a chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keeler won't make the final, sorry. Um, but they... No, they're going to be bad. We'll win this game against Sunbury. Yes, and that's what these we're are talking the bottom about. two teams. At the bottom two teams? Yes. Straight out. Yes. This is a tip show. No. I'm tipping it. Southern Which City? So, oh, yeah. Southern Penn play Nildura Sunday. Uh, both teams backing up from the night before, by the way. Oh. Southern Penn for me. Sharks. Yeah, I think, yeah, they will. I'm going Mildura to get two wins on the road That's round huge. one. I think yeah, that'd be right. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm with hey, Orange County. It is my favourite place in all of Victoria, bar Tarelgan. So I'm no. going to go with. Uh, no, I'm going to go. With, I'm going to go. Can we do the show from Tarelgan this year? No. No. We'll see. Play we'll cut the budget. You're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> We seriously <laughs> can't. Okay, you're lucky. There's, a, stuff, there's a lot of people out there that would have preferred <laughs> yeah. to see the other side of the coin. I'm telling you. Whittlesey play Hawthorne. Whittlesey's out of Darcy Saunders from Warner. That's a great pickup. Great, great pickup. Pick pick really up. good. Yep. Just what they needed. Aaron Suter from Sunbury. Kelly Burbridge from Diamond Valley. Mm -hmm. Can play. Can play. Yep. Aloise Goss from Hawthorne. They've lost Leander Higgs to Camberwell. Hawthorne's out of Emily Hewitt from Camberwell. They've lost Aloise Goss. 
to Whittlesea. Whittlesea Hawthorne Sunday game this Sunday. What Whittlesea, do you reckon? Whittlesea, Whittlesea, Whittlesea comfortably. Whittlesea for mine, uh, and I think they are going to regroup after last season. Their finals really were horrendous. Yeah, it was a really bad yeah. way to finish the season. I think they're going to bounce back pretty hard. I this think they'll, yeah, they'll be hovering around finals again, but they'll be better. So just quickly, D1 women, you tip from here at the moment. Right now it's Geelong. You've included about eight teams no. in the top four. No, <laughs> I have to. Geelong with um, Craigieburn and Southern Penn, not too far behind. I'm um, Geelong with Southern Penn. Geelong, Southern Penn, grand final. Keep an eye on oh, Geelong as well, just keep an eye out for Mildura. They okay. will not yeah, be far away. They're not deep enough. Yeah. Division 1 men, 14 teams, conference system, top four in each. Terrell Conference, Melton, Mildura, Geelong, Craigie Burn, Sunbury, Altona, Warnable. I think it's going to be much stronger this season. Yeah. Watson Conference, Latrobe City, Chelsea, Southern Peninsula, Blackburn, Camberwell, Warrandyte, Melbourne Uni. Yep. This Early is, thoughts? This is tough, mate. Despite uh, so just noticing teams. that Melbourne Uni have swapped conferences yeah. with Melton coming up from the Division 2 men's competition. Mildura is going to be very good. Yeah. Very good. Yep. Calvin Henry and Reginald Four. Reginald. I think that they're going to be right up there again. Um, Warnable, what's happening down at down Whale Bay? What's it's happening? Pretty cool. We'll probably see some charges. I heard they played Park and I heard Tim Gainey was in prime form. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. he had 30 odd and shot the lights out. If he's clicking, you know, they'll be good. But Bobby Cunningham, yeah, maybe, and maybe that's a reflection of Tim Gainey not coaching, just yeah. focusing on playing. And when he's doing that, he's, uh, well, he's very good. So, we're going to play tough with Bobby. <laughs> you are, yeah. Can to. Bobby see focus on coaching and not play? Yeah. I think he's probably won't at that step point on the where court can... at all. Won't step on the court Look once up. this season. I, I don't really? think so, but you reckon it'll be like Coops last year with West Bobby Ball, C, <laughs> we will see a cameo at some stage, uh, mate. Yeah. No mistake whatsoever. I think Latrobe City will be good in uh, in the Watson Conference, and Chelsea with Corey Stander for coming in will be very hard to beat. Let's have a look at games coming up this week in D1 Men's Saturday. Geelong at Mildura. Um, Reggie Fuller's come in, obviously, to play alongside Calvin Henry. It's down at Geelong. Thoughts? Well, Geelong have... Um, New coach, by the way. Yeah, Geelong have had a Seb Yeah, it's nice. Who, <laughs> and who I think is going to dominate. And there was someone else. Yeah. Brett, good game's back. Yes, that's exactly... Yep. Good game's back for a he great is, game. Yep, Big is. game from good game this so, week. So, I reckon this is gonna be, these two teams... They could, be the they could be the top two in this in the I agree. Conference. I think they probably will. They don't like each other at all. No, who you going for? Geelong. Mildura just. I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to go with Mildura to win on the road. Just. Melton plays Sunbury. Melton has added Anthony Kimball from Geelong. Billy Feeben comes in from Bellar. I think he's going to play youth though at yeah. Melton. Joel Bellman, Diamond Valley, Daniel Kraltovic from Eltham, Matt Hedger, Hume City, Matt Jukes, Keelor. Tommy Scott's another young one that's come into their uh, their youth program. He's come yeah. across from Sunbury. Melton is at a lot of place. Yeah. You know what? I think they're going to be one of the few teams that are going to come up from Div 2, and I think they're going to make an immediate impact. They're a really good, strong side. Um, Anthony Kimball is a flat out scorer. That's exactly what that team needs. I really like the look of Melton. And don't say, Daniel Kraltovic, seven foot in the rest. They're huge. He's, I saw them over boy. out on court just before the yeah. pre season tournament. Melton have got that, some that, size about They're ready to go. Anthony yep. Kimball averaged 30 shots a game, you reckon? He's going he's gonna to put them up. He's going to be putting up a lot of shots. Over under 32 shots a game. Go. Uh, under. Just under. 30, 31. You know what we haven't mentioned? <laughs> what? With this game? What? Grant Spencer. Oh, Spencer Cup. <laughs> is it the Spencer yes, Cup? Yes, it is. Uh, yes. Ex-Melon coach is now at Sunbury this year. Yes, he and is. And took over the reins at Melbourne. Yeah, Mick and, back in the league, which is great. And Sunbury have some good additions. They Jordan are. Harding comes in from Coburg. Michael Charambula from Char Coburg. Uh, Daniel Goldsworthy from Melbourne Uni. Not a bad player. John Wilkinson, Altona. Um, Tom Scott. Th this is the way he's gone to use. Uh, this yeah. is going to be a really good game. <laughs> and you know it's at Melton. It's going to be an absolute packed house to start it the is. season. It's going to be Will they have that little horse thing running around? Do they have a horse mascot or something? <laughs> Thoroughbred? It's or it's Whittlesey, mate. What's his name? Is there a couple of That's horses? That's Whittlesey. Oh, okay. Who are you going for? Uh, Nathan the horse. Aren't they the Thoroughbreds? No. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think they have a mascot. Okay. Yeah, oh, anyway. Who are you going for? Melton. Only because I've seen them play and I liked what I saw. Um, I'm going to go Sunbury. I'm going to go Melton to win coming up into D1 men. Chelsea Southern Penn. Chelsea's added Corey Standover from Bulling. Great pick up. Southern Penn. <laughs> yeah. just, sorry, sorry. You, 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 you said understated to me. Yeah. You said I understated something earlier. Corey Standover is coming to Chelsea. He's a champ all star. He's and will dominate. He's a state champ all star. Thank you. And will carve it up. There's yeah. no doubt about it. Southern Penn's added Declan Sukup from Casey. Michael Troy from Casey. Ricky Deanne, the shock jock from Western Port. Manny Hendricks gone to Western Port. Glenn Wansborough has gone to Warrandot. Chelsea win for me. Bang. Yep. Yeah, look, I think so. Chelsea are awesome. Yeah, Chelsea I think are Southern Penn are going to be pretty good this year, though. Yeah, they, they will. This is going to be a cracker of a game, but I think Chelsea will get us. And Southern Stand Penn's import, Max Allen, looks, looks, looks good right. too, mate. Yeah. Uh, from Canada? Yes. Standover will average how many points a game? 
in 30, this competition. 31. I'm going to be 30 plus. Latrobe City played Blackburn. Latrobe City's added Vashon Weaver from Warrandai. Good pick up. Perm. Is he back? No. Uh, Casey Chan from Blackburn gone to Sherbrooke. I think um, Latrobe City went at home. Blackburn have added, but I'm not sure whether he's back on the floor yet. Matt Comedy's returning. Oh, has he? Yep, and that's a huge pick up. Big yeah, pick up. great Big pick up. So I think they're gonna um, they're gonna be pretty good this year. I think year, Blackburn I think... will win this one. Yeah. yeah. I think Latrobe City will get it at home just. Craigieburn, Warnable. Craigieburn's added Kane Malloy from Middlesex. Will he be playing seniors at Craigieburn? Surely. Mm, maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll sure how old yeah, he is. Great young, great young play. Warnable, what are we, what's going on down there? As we said, we, we don't know import. much. They've got an import, haven't they? Yeah, they do. I think you failed to mention the 25 foot tall player that's joined Craigieburn. Oh, Craigieburn. He's a big boy, he's a big boy too. Big Shields. Boy. Got, some, got a bit of attention on Facebook. He did get a bit of attention <laughs> on Facebook. And just in fear of this show going way too long, Craigieburn or Warnable? Craigie Ben. Craigie Ben. Craigie I'm going to go Warnable to win, Tim Ganey to dominate this dominate. game. Dominate. Melbourne Uni, Campbell, Melbourne Uni have lost to Nick Masundi. He's gone to Bulleen. Stephen Thomason's Big gone losses. with him and Daniel Goldsworthy's Big gone losses. to Sunbury. Yeah, they're Big huge. Big losses. For Campbell, uh, Simon Hughes is the back, back, uh, back at the Dragons. Graham Anstey. Do you reckon Campbell's gone for a bit of height in their team? Or just a bit. Simon just a Hughes bit. and Graham Hansen. Oh, I know. <laughs> Tom Zapunza has gone for McKinnon. Uh, Ash Bry got the, got is gone. And Liam Dobson is gone. Ash Bry is a massive loss for Campbell. Let's not beat around and the so bush So is Damon there. Larry. Uh, Damon Larry is a massive loss as well. Graham Anstey, Simon Hughes, they've gone big. It'll be a slow game for Campbell, I think. Mark uh, Jeffers would be playing seniors this season. Melbourne Uni's lost three good players there, by the way. Especially yeah, Nick Melbourne Uni have been under the radar a bit. So just because they I, always know, are. Yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about what Coach yep. Walker's done. So I'll be tipping Campbell on this one. And if it's a half-court game, slow down Campbell yep. will win for me. Yep. Uh, Sunday games coming up, D1 men this weekend. Campbell will back it up. They take on Eltona. Brent yep. Radislavic goes to Eltona from Keelor. Campbell will wipe them. Don't rate yep. the Gators. Sunday, really. it's a Sunday I rate game. I coach, Des Radislavic. Yes, I do. From I, I do. Really but him, it might not be enough. But I think Campbell will win at home. Yep. I'll turn, I'm going to go with you this week just to stuff these two yeah, up. Idiot. Uh, Warren Dyke play Geelong. Have they got any chance, I'll turn? Seriously? Like no. No chance it's pretty low. Yeah, no, I think that, no, no, no. A I think chance. They have a chance. chance. Yeah, yeah, no, well, one of us has got to go for them. No, well, you do. don't. No, pump their ties up a bit. It's round one. You haven't even seen them yet. It's round one. Give them a chance. No, we'll see just you next give week. them a chance. See you next week and they'll lose by 35. We should have running tips along the bottom. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Warren Dyke played Geelong to uh, round it all off for round one in D1, man. Warren Dyke's added uh, Jonathan Murphy in from the States. Uh, Nathan Marsh and Kieran Maguire coming from Coburg. Glenn Wansborough from Southern Penn. Taylor Hayton comes up from the youth team. So does Frankie Ryan. Big changes the man. Um, Geelong, yeah, massive changes. Very, very young. Geelong, we've already spoken yep. about them. Yep. They've got some guns coming in. What do you think first? I think... I Look, I think probably Geelong a little bit now. tough for Look, Warren Dyke. Geelong, um, sorry, Jonathan Murphy looked pretty good. He's inside. good player. Yeah, yeah, had some soft hands around the basket, but I think Geelong are going to be one of the teams to beat. Yeah, I think Geelong. Yeah, so do I. They yeah. might get this one. Yep. Yeah. Um, out and out, just straight up. I've already asked your prediction for each. Yeah. We said Geelong for D1 women. What about just straight out D1 men? Straight out. Pick a team. You're Come obviously on. not going to pick Eltona because you've already written them off and buried them. Ah. Who? Come on, quick. Kelvin Henry, Mildura, Chelsea, yes. Chelsea for me. Chelsea, Mildura. Stan Durfer, Geelong, no love for Geelong Mildura. in the men. Mildura. No, well, any of those three teams can win it. But you said pick one, you pick one. Who is your one? I'll pick one next week. See you next uh, week on Big VTV, catch ya. Is.